Recently, I had the chance to get my hands on the new Neumann Mic Pre, the V402. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what this Mic Pre is about. Neumann is of course well known for their studio microphones. But since 2010, they're also manufacturing high-end studio monitors and lately also studio headphones. But that's not all Neumann did. Until the beginning of the 90s, they built mixing consoles. These mixing consoles were custom made for radio stations, concert halls and recording studios. I still have one here at the studio and I work with it almost every day. So there's no doubt Neumann knows how to develop and build pro audio gear. A part of those consoles was the V476B Mic Pre module, which is a classic today. The new Mic Pre continues the tradition of those classic modules, but with a different approach. Let me show you the V402. As you can see, this is a two-channel Mic Pre and it comes in a 19-inch, two-rack unit chassis. It's a pretty heavy unit, I have to say. This preamp is carefully designed to maintain the sonic integrity of Neumann microphones. And in a way, it shows in the design of the front panel with its nickel tone similar to that of Neumann mics. The V402 is the perfect match for Neumann microphones to discover the true, uncolored sound. So let's have a closer look at what this preamp has to offer. On the rear, we have two XR mic inputs two XLR line outputs. There is even a ground lift switch, just in case there might be some hum issues. And it's handmade in Germany. On the front, we have two additional DI high z inputs for guitars, basses, keyboards, and other instruments. A very high input impedance of three mega ohms will guarantee that the sonics of your passive instruments will not be affected. With the push of this button, you can switch between the mic input on the rear and the DI input on the front. The red ring indicates that the DI input is active. The phantom power is separately switchable for each channel. And then we have these big high resolution step gain knobs and they run very smoothly. You can adjust the mic gain from 20 to 60 dB and the DI gain from 0 to 40 dB. A 20 dB pad allows the V402 to be used with high level sources up to 28 dBU. The high pass filter is carefully designed to remove rumble or other unwanted low frequencies. It cuts below 60 Hz with a slope of 12 dB per octave. With the filter frequency set so low, you can be sure that most of your signals will be unaffected. And of course, there's a phase reverse switch for each channel. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how this preamp sounds and what other features it has to offer.